Let's check out the Tears of the Kingdom Hori Split Pad Pros. All right, so these right here are the Hori Split Pad Pros, but the Tears of the Kingdom versions. And how cool are these? They are so cool. Yes, I know I've already covered the Split Pad Pros so much on the channel, but whenever there's like a new design and Hori are like, check these out. I want to show you guys because they're always super cool. And that is these right here are the Tears of the Kingdom one. Like, just look at these. Like, they're so well done. You've got Link just there on top of his little rock thing. Like, the, the design of these are just so nice. Like, I, I really, really like the Hori Joy-Con alternatives, the split pad pros and the compacts as well. They are just such cool Joy-Con alternatives. And here as well, this side's completely different. I just I just love them. They're really, really cool. But let's check them out on top of the actual Switch, shall we? So popping these on, boom. These are excellent for those that have larger hands. They, they just fit perfectly, you know? Like they are really, really comfortable. I love the actual design of these. And that is the main selling point of these now, is just the sheer size of them, in my opinion, and the build quality, because you're getting a really ergonomic sort of grip here in terms of, look at look at the Joy-Con, look how crampy this right joystick is. Like, that's horrible, and they are very awkward to hold as well. And yes, I've got the, the Zelda Joy-Cons here as well, but look at that stick placement. Whereas look at this stick placement, look how far over it is. So look how cramped my thumb is there. And then look how natural my thumb rests here. It's, it's not up here like the Joy-Cons, it's right over. And that is where these excel. They are super comfortable, especially if you've got large hands and they're really good build quality as well. My only thing nowadays is the compacts and the pros have been out for quite a while now and I love them, but they're a little bit feature lacking in comparison to some of the other alternatives I've looked at, like the Nixie Hyperion Pros or even like the Cracked Nitro deck. But the thing is with these is they are officially licensed. And again, I definitely rate Hori's build quality and customer support as well. All of that is top notch. Like the, the quality control is next level with these. And that is the peace of mind you're getting when you buy one of these is you know you're gonna get a decent product and any issues they're gonna sort you out. They are really, really cool. So I still love the Hori Split Pad Pros. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I, I just wanted to show you how cool these are. It's a super quick video today, but I really love the look of these. And you know, if you're a Zelda fan, I think this is for you. They're pretty freaking cool. So what do you think of the Tears of the Kingdom Hori Split Pad Pros? I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments. Are you still rocking? split pad pros or are you rocking the compacts or are you using something else let me know down in the comments and whilst you're down there like this video subscribe and check out mine and aj's podcast over here where we talk about all things gaming and why don't you check out my reviews of the hori split pad pros whilst you're at it as well if you want more information bye